What up, awesome viewers, Rio Gian here. We're gonna take a look at the BSPD3 mobile gaming controller. The box came pre-ripped, so I kind of saved myself the time ripping the box because it ripped it for me, so I like that. Oh, hang on, here's the back. Love some glorious products and features. All right. Oh, I got the Genshin version because I was like, this is pretty unique looking. She got all of the cool little logos and things like that. It does light up. So that is nice. Yeah, so that was the one thing that was kind of puzzling to me. Where I thought that if I get the Genshin version, it doesn't light up, but it does. So that's nice. And for Call of Duty Mobile, the most important thing to look at is here. Right there, hopefully text comes through clearly or as clear as it possibly can be. And yep. So first order of business, fold. Does it fit? Of course it does. Because that now looks real good. And uh, the other thing that I was kind of puzzling about was analog sticks and these felt really good like these felt like higher end than you would think for the price I, that's 24 to 30 bucks depends on how when and where you get it from so yeah, some some people say 17 bucks possibly if you want to wait longer for shipping so there's that How does it look on a regular phone? Got you covered too. And there you go. This is how it looks on a regular phone. Very compact, nice and fit. And oh, a fold phone on DS mode, which I, I call DS mode, but it's like this. There you go. Where you have the dual screens set up that's going on there. So, DS mode is great. Uh, the easily the biggest downside are D-pad or buttons. Not really D-pad, but just buttons. This this is super hard to to do anything that's ha Hadouken or Shoryuken related. Is is you're gonna have a bad time. That's playing it simple. These doing this and this. Because sometimes when you play games like Tekken, this is going to be hard. To, you know, King, King doing the this particular move where he kicks your shins. Not not easy. So there's that. Uh, clamp, clamp. It's actually pretty decent. Like it's it's not like this. This is loosey goosey here, but the actual spring is pretty tight. That's good. Uh, I would say if you want to get this to replace uh, your controller for COD, for COD Mobile, because you don't want to use an Xbox or or PlayStation controller, I think this is great. This is like really good for that. But if you play a lot of like fighting games or 2D games or games where you have to do this or or this, no, no, don't do it. And, oh, the lighting. Uh, that's the other thing too that's kind of annoying is that you have to constantly connect it where you can't just turn it on and kind of like expect it to connect. Which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie, because this process setting up can be annoying. So, there's that. Yeah, yeah. Here's what it looks like light up. So the only real difference between the Genshin version and every other version is literally the shell. So it's just how, what 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 color do you want it, basically? Yeah, I I like this one because it has the Genshin logos on it. I think the buttons look a little bit different. I think so, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. But yep, that's basically first. Oh, uh, macro buttons. Don't know. 
how to really set it up. Uh, if you want to find out, then let me know. I'll, I'll try to find out and do some troubleshooting for you. If I don't really see myself using these, I mean, a lot of controllers have macro buttons. Like my Odin has macro buttons. I don't really use that. So, but if you do use that and or you need help on it, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll try to find out, see how I can work that up for you. And yep, uh, I, I like the grips. The grips on the back here. It gives a give it gives you a nice grip. So uh, wait. Weight's it's really not that bad actually on, on a fold because fold tends to be the, the heaviest phones so this is really not that bad at all. This is actually this setup is really good by the way yeah this is a really good setup because the grip here holds it well you have a nice big screen to play with so pretty good stuff pretty good stuff not gonna lie. So yeah that's pretty much it for box opening uh comes with a with a cable too uh A to C so oh yeah right. This takes C by the way, USB-C, that's very useful, that's very good. I like the fact that it takes USB-C, that's, that's a very good feature. So, there's that. And, yep, I think I pretty much covered everything, yeah, so. It's nice. You wanna pick it up? Link down below to pick it up, support me, no extra cost to you, down there. New to the channel? Subscribe, thumbs up, bell more content. You guys, stay awesome.